I've been doing a lot of research on uh, these Hugel culture mounds lately and I've decided that I wanted to build one for myself. It's more or less uh, a mound of wood and you put dirt over it. Uh, what this is for is to uh, replicate a natural process of decomposition that occurs on the forest floors. When the trees that fall in the forest become like uh, decaying logs and then the or when the branches fall off the trees and then the, the leaves fall they become decaying logs and it just covers it up over time so this is basically what you're doing but you're putting the wood down with the dirt over it and it's gonna cause it to decay. Uh, a couple benefits that I've found on doing one of these beds is that holds a lot of moisture and as the wood uh, breaks down it gets hot so it makes the soil a little bit warmer and it can provide a lot of nutrients for the plants you plant in it and also if there's like any little air pockets and voids around where the dirt goes around the wood uh, inside of it in the hollow spaces it can provide a lot better aeration for like the roots and stuff of the, the plants I believe this is uh, some sort of uh, German uh, farming application. It, it stands for uh, heel culture. As you can see up in the, the picture I put up here, how when you first start building it, it, it shows the processes of you know the wood stacked up and how it decays over time and then eventually turns into more soil and the more plants you plant and the bigger they get. I've uh, decided to make mine about 30 foot long about 15 feet wide. So it's a little big but we're going to try it out and see how it works. Alright so this is my Hoogle culture mound I'm working on building. It's uh, 16 feet wide and about 30 to 33 feet long. As you can see, I got a little bit more wood I want to put in here so it'll last a long time. And probably two more loads of water. I've never built one of these before, but I did a lot of research on it. these this year probably uh, plant my blackberries that are growing over there on the cattle panel uh, probably transplant a couple of them in here and uh, a couple raspberry bushes uh, probably a couple of strawberries and mix in some uh, vine plants like squash and zucchini and stuff and plant some flowers and all this wood up to put on my hugo culture mound and I made it from over there to here and my tire blew out so now I gotta go up there get the tractor come down here and take this wheel off and uh, fix it so then we'll be back underway
man, these things are really rusty. I got the lid up back down because they keep spinning. I don't think this tire's been off since I've owned this trailer.
fell off. So, now I gotta go back down on the field and look for it. All right, so now after that took up about an hour and a half to go get some, I got uh, four, so now I got some extra. Now we're gonna go back down here and put this tire back on. All right, we got the tire back on. So this will probably be the last load for tonight. It's gonna be dark here pretty soon. So I ended up and got the rest of my wood hauled in. I hauled a couple more loads just so it would be able to last a lot longer when it decays. And then I started hauling in my dirt. I didn't video that part because it's, it's too hard. I don't have anything to hold my phone in the tractor. So using the loader and having to use both hands uh, to drive and dig, dig the dirt. I can't video that at the same time. But... I hauled in probably 25 bucket loads of dirt from down uh, behind the pond on some washed out uh, topsoil dirt. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dig a pond there eventually, so I've just been using that as my dirt spot to get dirt from. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to level it off the best I can. That's going to be the most work. I'll have to get my little tiller out and get the top at least level and kind of taper down the sides just enough so I can go ahead and plant stuff on it. Once I uh, get it leveled I'll take a final picture of it and uh, hopefully 
in the next couple weeks I can get some plants and uh, wildflowers bought and I can plan on it and let you know how that works. If you do want to build one, I suggest just getting out there and making one. They're not that hard to build. You don't have to build them that big. You can build them like three foot wide and six six or seven feet long. They don't have to be uh, an exact size to work. But If you enjoyed this kind of stuff and like this video, please uh, give it a like and let me know what your guys' thoughts are on other videos that you might be interested in that pertain to this subject. Thanks for watching.